Hi all, today we are going to see what a memory is or memory unit is. So previous lectures we have seen how a data or an information is converted into binary data to get stored in your computer. So now we are going to study what a memory unit is. So memory it is a physical device which has the ability to store data or information or instructions. So you should know what an instruction is. We all know computer cannot do anything by its own. It works according to the user instructions. These instructions are given to the computer through programs. So if you ask me what a program is, it is set of instructions. So if you want to store any programs or data, we need memory. So storing means it can be a permanent storage or it can be a temporary storage. Based on this, computer memory can be classified into two types. First one is primary memory and the second one is secondary memory. Now we'll see what a primary memory is. Primary memory is also known as main memory or it can be referred as internal memory. So all those types of computer memories that can be directly accessed by the processor we call that as primary memory. This allows a processor to access running programs or currently processed data that is stored in your memory locations. So normally the primary memory it is fixed in your motherboard. So primary memory it can be classified into two that is that is ROM and RAM. ROM means read only memory. RAM means random access memory. Now we'll see what a ROM is. So ROM the name indicates it's read only memory. It is a long term internal memory. ROM is a volatile memory. When I talk about volatile memory, it is a memory which works when there is no electricity. That means even if you switch off your computer, the data that is present inside the ROM will be retained. Mainly ROM contains the programs which helps the computer to get booted up. That is the reason why it is called as read only memory. The data that is present inside the ROM cannot be changed or written back. That is, it is read only memory. ROM can be classified into three. First one is PROM, second one is EPROM, third one is EEPROM. So PROM means programmable ROM, EPROM means erasable programmable ROM, EEPROM means electrically erasable programmable ROM. I'll tell what exactly a PROM is, that is programmable read only memory. It means it can be programmed only once and it can be read many times. That is, PROMs retains their contents without the flow of electricity. That is, it is a non-volatile memory that we all know it is a non-volatile memory. The second type of ROM is EPROM that is erasable programmable ROM. This memory retains its contents until it is exposed to ultraviolet light that is if you expose this to an ultraviolet light it clears its contents that makes it possible to reprogram the memory third type of ROM is EE ROM that is electrically erasable programmable ROM previously we have seen like it is erasing the data inside the ROM by using ultraviolet rays but in this kind of ROMs, you can electrically remove the data that you have in that ROM. That also makes it possible to reprogram the memory. Now we'll move to the second type of primary memory that is RAM. We all know RAM means it's random access memory. It is also called as short term memory. Short term memory means it is a volatile memory. That is, when you, whatever the data that is stored inside RAM will be removed once the electricity is shut off. That is, if you switch off your computer, the data present inside the RAM will be removed. 
the RAM contain, contains the data which are processed currently. So whatever the processing that is happening in your computer, it happens in RAM, not in the ROM or secondary memory. In RAM, we can read and also you can write data into the memory. That is, you can store and you can also retrieve data from the memory. And it is considered as the fastest memory in your computer. Now we'll go to the next part that is a secondary storage device. Secondary storage device, it is considered as the permanent memory in your computer. It is characterized by its slowness and cheapness because it is more cheaper than the RAM. But it stores data permanently. These data are not directly processed by the CPU. The content that you have in the secondary storage is firstly copied into the RAM and then only it is getting transferred to CPU. The secondary memory stores data that can be easily retrieved only by the main memory and by use by the processor. So it is more slower than the main memory and but the advantage is that it can have more storage capacity than the primary memory. So some of the secondary storage device that you have is floppy disk, CD drive, hard disk, smart media. There are many types of secondary devices now. So you can see that on the screen. This is what we have in the memory unit. Thank you so much.